Through the Municipal Equality Index, the Human Rights Campaign graded local city governments based on the health, safety, and equality services they provided the LGBTQ community, a result that did not shock a few people in this community. I think that Laredo still has a lot of growing to do. Hector Chapa is one of the members in this community that agrees with these results, but hopes that this changes in the future. So I think only time will give us more confidence and be a little more outspoken. I think a lot of people are closeted. Some of the criteria that 506 city governments surveyed had to meet were non-discrimination laws, benefits for LGBTQ employees, city efforts to include LGBTQ in constituents, and many others, a statement a local LGBTQ advocate agrees with. It's not the first time that we haven't scored well on this MEI, on this survey. Uh, I know last year we scored a zero. I don't know how far back we go. Laredo was not able to meet most of these. LGBTQ advocate Enrique Lobo says that despite these results, local Laredoan officials are open to work with the community. And it's not because there's any ill intent on anybody's part. It's just a lack of an organization, a lack of any presence of um, an LGBTQ organization. Human Rights Campaign says that the MEI result should serve as a roadmap for city leaders that are looking to further inclusivity, a goal that everyone in the LGBTQ community is hoping to meet. I see Laredo improving, growing, and people's minds learning and becoming more accepting. We reached out to the city of Laredo and they were unaware of the report until we approached them with it. They were able to tell us that they will look into it further to make a comment. They added that they are actively looking to provide more support for the LGBT community. For KJNS News, I'm Lisette Garcia.